So don't get me wrong, the main aspect of this game is the PvP. You are just gonna you are gonna be going in chat, trying to find a group, going out to these zones and killing other players to capture the zone. But the thing is you can't go out there as a naked. You really can't. You can't go out there all by yourself and just expect to do something. Especially as a new level, a new a new character, because you're gonna go out and soon you're gonna see, you know, crossing the swamp across there. There's a big swamp, and if you cross that swamp, there's tons of high-level characters, and they're PVE characters. They're just bandits, you know. But they'll kill you, and there's bears. There's no way of getting across if you're low level, and um, so you really, you really have to spend the time to. You can actually loot these crates, by the way. You really need to, you really need to spend the time to um, to level yourself up and get yourself to a. a a point where you can actually assist your team and really and really excel in the PvP world or else or else you're not gonna make it out there. That's just the truth. Alright, so we've made it to the vendors here. So I'm a heavy armor character and I also need a weapon, right? So I happen to have all my heavy armor on me, but let's say I died and someone looted my armor and I just needed to get it, I wouldn't exactly go in here and start crafting uh, my armor because you know I'm not there yet um, and it would take me a long time so what do you do well first of all the game will give you some you know I don't know if the game will give you armor but you're gonna have to get yourself some armor so uh, I would suggest going out and farming things um, selling a ton of stuff you know it's easy to get stuff out there it really is and then coming to the armor smiths over here, really creepy armor smith, and um, you know, filter through these menus, and you'll see it doesn't cost much. And buy yourself some armor. It has the stats here: slash redu reduction, piercing reduction, baldrin reduction, stamina drain modifiers. You know, it's all here. My nose. I'm sorry. So yeah, collect these things, guys. You know, get get your gear, and uh, make sure you repair. You can just click all, and it repair all your gear. That's very important. And uh, same thing for weapons. You're gonna want to just shift yourself over to this guy here, and open up his menu, and he'll give you all the axes. He'll give you all the pole arms. He'll even give you recipes for things, bows, uh, you know, your one-handed weapons and your swords. So that's also really important. Um, you need to know that you can get things from the vendors. You don't need to craft right from the beginning, and this will help you when you go off into the wilderness and start killing things. So now that I've got myself set up, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to look at this map here, and I'm going to try to figure out what's going to go on here. So I can either A, um, level up more so that my chances of success are higher when I go PvP, or I can join a group right away and try to, you know, make my way with the group and succeed. Chances are I'll die, but, you know, take my chances. Or what I can do is I can try to level up to better, you know, be a better part of, you know, a better teammate in my team because I don't want to just die everywhere, right? So if you look at your main base here, the proximity around your base is basically going to be your gauge for leveling uh, and the characters of the mobs. So the further you go away from your base, the higher level the mobs are going to be. So let me just show you. So as I leave the gate here, let's say this was your very first time out of this gate, and you didn't, wow, that gate is really loud. Let's say you didn't know where you were going, and this is the first time out of the gate, um, you would definitely kill these level ones, and you would stay near the gate door, and uh, gather the wood in the area, convert the wood in crafting, start getting your crafting up. Um, there's also ores around here, you would be mining the ores, and trying to stay alive. There's an ore over there. Uh, you would mine these ores and get these wooden logs. Make sure you have an axe or a sword, something with a blade, um, uh, just to gather. And you're going to be killing these level ones and and uh, gathering resources and leveling up. All right. So now that you've gathered resources and you've made some money, and you're starting to level up, you need more of a challenge. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna start expanding out. You're gonna start moving away from your base. But you really do have to be careful because it may seem easy. Oh, look, there's a level one fox. Oh, it's not a big deal. But 
I assure you, as you continue going, you're going to find some challenges. And pretty much instantly, this game is not... Um, what is this guy doing? This is another player, I believe. He's kind of glitched out, I believe. So here's a boar. This boar will attack me if I get too close. He's level 4, so if you're... You know, if you're level 1, he'll, he'll be annoying, but you can still kill him. But he'll do damage to you. So, as I, as I get further out, as you can see here... There are more and more players. These are all PvE characters. This guy's level 7. This guy's level 7 as well. Or level 6. So they really start to add up quickly. Level 3. Level 3. So I'm going to continue and show you guys how it gets. Alright, so I just moved up a little bit. And uh, I'm still pretty close to the main base. It's just sort of building over there or something. Um, and I just ran into a level 29 bear just right there. And he actually kind of looks like a ore, like something I would mine. <laughs> but he's actually a bear, so watch out for bears. Uh, and watch out for these encampments too. These guys are level 8, and there's a lot of them. Even as a higher level, all these guys together are a tough challenge by yourself. Seriously. Be with a group if you go with this, or uh, pull them carefully. Uh, you know, just be careful. Alright, so I'm at a farming spot, so this is a spot for me that I can start leveling up in. So I'm level 13, so I came to an area that I can manage. So these guys are level 9, and I saw a few of them are higher levels. This guy, I think he's level 8, a couple of them are level 13. But uh, this is where I'm going to be sort of uh, farming. This guy's like, leave me alone! No! <laughs> Basically, you're going to be coming and uh, farming out these areas, looting all their stuff, um, you know, taking their wood, basically being a cold ass motherfucker, and you know, uh, slaughtering these bandit towns. Um, you can really get a lot of loot from this area and uh, a lot of experience. So yeah, totally uh, farm out these areas. You level up really quickly. Oh, this is what I this is what I meant by watching out for, uh, packs of mobs. It gets, it gets harder to control your blade, so for some reason it's easy to miss. I don't know if anybody ever played Morrowind, but it feels a lot like that. When you miss, it's just like air. Oh, he's dead, so I blocked that. Ah, oh, it took my energy away. Oh, you can kick him with Q, and then you can slice him. Oh, block, slice. Come on, man. Die. Ah. Alright, so he's dead. So you can see how I can get a little bit crazy. You know, that was just two guys. One on one, very easy. Two, tougher. Three, very difficult. So um, make sure you're careful. I would suggest even using your bow to uh, attract one and then uh, lure them, luring them in and, and uh, killing them. Alright, so now I'm finished. Uh, I totally just looted that area up. And I, you know, my inventory is full of things, and I just want to get rid of it, alright? So you can either just, well, to be honest, you can either just die, and wait the 30 seconds, and then spawn back in your base. If you're close enough, you can do this. If you're farther out here, I wouldn't do that, because you can get looted within those 30 seconds. But uh, I would, you know, I would probably run back. So you would run back to base, and you're going to be selling off your items or crafting your items. Alright, so I just killed myself now because I just want to spawn back in town. I don't want to walk all the way back. But as you can see here, you got to wait 20 seconds before you spawn. So your body is left in the open, and chances are someone will loot you if you're further out in the uh, wilderness.